This video is to demonstrate two different 18 volt battery operated chainsaws to use for light firewood cutting for remote camping with solar electric power. Black and Decker saw cuts fairly quickly through these small logs. It wasn't long before power began to drop and cutting slowed down to where the saw easily jammed. That's about it. I get one more cut. So there you have it. That's how many cuts from one fully charged brand new battery on Florida Turkey Oak. Most of it's dead, some of it was almost. The battery is very hot, almost too hot to touch. It's a lot of wasted energy. I've been cutting for a while and uh, it's comparing similar to Black & Decker. This saw comes with an auto oiler which I do not use as they always leak. Instead frequently oiling the chain externally with a can. Oil, put it on the chain every once in a while. Unlike the Black & Decker NICAD saw which gradually lost power and jammed, the Ryobi lithium just stops working once the battery is nearly drained. At that point, you either recharge the battery or swap it out. What you do, you just get lots of batteries. The battery was only warm after nearly constant cutting, so less wasted power. I can't say the Ryobi cuts any faster than the Black & Decker. Very slow. Doesn't even compare to a gas chainsaw. Or even a quarter electric chainsaw. But um, it's really light. You can carry it in a, in a camping gear set. Got a nice worth of firewood real easy. I don't know if it'll do a lot better than uh, a good handsaw. With one fully charged P102 standard lithium battery, about 1.4 amp hours capacity, this is the total firewood cut. It's about 4 inch diameter and smaller. Ryobi also has higher capacity batteries up to 4 amp hour each. Home Depot cost for the P108 is very pricey at $99 a piece. Battery operated chainsaw is not really all that effective, but the main reason I got it is that so I can run it off the solar. I'm going to plug in an extra panel. I have a total of 80 watts. 80 watts rated anyway. Fully charged. Turn on the inverter. Hundred and seventeen point six volts. And the nice thing about the Ryobi is it uh, comes with a quick charger. It should charge in an hour. It's drawing. 51 watts. That's the charge controller reading the amperage going into the system. 3.8 amps. It reads low though. Probably closer to 4. And it's a little bit overcast so these 240 watt panels 
are uh, not up to full performance right now. Panels on a hinge, and uh, everything sits in the shade, so it stays nice and cool. Still charging. And the power consumption is still dropping. Battery is done charging. And it's uh, drawing just over a half a watt in the standby mode. I've charged two batteries now. The sun's starting to get low. Now the two 40 watt panels are keeping up with charging the lithium batteries as well as keeping the, the main storage battery topped off. 13.7 volts. So this is what I'll use for cutting firewood at the campsite.